Hello, thank you for joining me while I show you one of the highlights from our upcoming jewelry sale on the 1st of July in London at Lion and Turnbull Auctioneers. I'm Kate Flitcroft, and today we will be looking at this beautiful American sapphire, diamond, and pearl pendant. So the first thing that we obviously are going to notice is the amazing size and color of this sapphire. This is a Sri Lankan pink sapphire weighing about 25 carats. This piece we know comes from America. It was owned by a woman who moved there and she ended up becoming a flapper girl in Chicago in the 1920s. So I love the idea that she may have worn this pendant on a really long chain draped in between her flapper dress, uh, perhaps layered as well with long strands of pearls. That period was all about layering and, and increasing how much jewelry you were wearing. It was a completely different way of using and wearing jewelry um, to the past. So this shows us a real change from, from a very traditional, very feminine type of style into jewelry that was being worn in a completely new way. I mentioned before that Sapphire is from Sri Lanka. That's fantastic. The fact that we know from gemological evidence that this sapphire comes from Sri Lanka is exactly what we would expect for the piece. It underlines that the mount and the stone were made together. The stone, we also know, has not been heat treated, and that's incredibly important when we're looking at sapphires. For example, most of the Madagascar sapphires that are on the current market have been heat treated to about 400 degrees Celsius to improve their color. Now that may seem incredibly hot, but it's actually quite a gentle treatment when you consider that some blue sapphires are treated to 1800 degrees Celsius in order to really intensify that blue color. Sapphires can also be treated with diffusion, they can be filled, but this one here has no evidence of any treatment whatsoever. So again, another quality factor when we're looking for a sapphire. Not only is this a substantial size, it's a beautiful cut. The color is a nice violet pink and no heat treatment. It also is in its original setting and we know a little bit about who owned it. I hope you'll join me on the 1st of July when this pendant comes up for auction. And who knows, you may be the next guardian of this piece of jewelry history. 